The ice and rain protection system enables operation in icing conditions and heavy rain. For anti-icing, critical areas of the aircraft are protected by hot air or electrical heating. The pneumatic system provides hot air for the anti-icing of the three outboard leading edge slats of each wing. Each engine air intake is anti-iced by an independent air bleed from the high-pressure compressor. The air is supplied through the engine anti-ice valve. Note, in the event of an electrical power supply failure, this valve will automatically open. Electrical heating is provided for windshield anti-icing and cockpit side window defogging, the angle of attack AOA probes, the total air temperature TAT probes, the pitot probes, and the static ports. When the electrical system is powered, the water waste drain masts are also electrically heated. Note, on the ground, the heat is reduced to prevent injury to ground personnel. The ice detection system, if installed, consists of two separate ice detectors located on the forward lower section of the fuselage. An external visual ice indicator with an integrated light is installed between the two windshields. All the ice and rain protection controls are located on the overhead panel. The crew manages wing and engine anti-ice valves through the anti-ice control panel, all the electrical heating system by the probe window heat push-button switch. Memos associated with anti-ice operation are presented on the engine warning display memo area. To improve visibility in rainy conditions, the flight crew can spray a rain repellent liquid. Separate push buttons control the application of the rain repellent on each side of the windshield. Electric wipers are provided for the windshields. They are operated at slow or fast speed through the wiper selector located on the wiper panels. The maximum speed with the wipers in use is 230 knots. 